Good afternoon, and welcome to St Andrews. I'm Heather Collett Moxon. Mark Eyre, our director of music, is our organist and pianist, and Ian Dunn is our verger. We offer you our loving sympathy as together we grieve for Fred. We've come to celebrate his life, give grateful thanks for his life, and to commend him into God's keeping through the confidence we hold in the promises of God shown in the life, death, and resurrection of Jesus Christ. I will sing and make music, says the psalmist. Awake, my soul. Music has been the golden thread all through Fred's life. Fred's faith was expressed in his singing, and music gave his faith wings. I sing in the shadow of your wings, Fred could say with King David. Now Fred is out of the shadow and living in the light of the glory of God, where he too can hear, as St. John did, the voice of many angels which measured thousands upon thousands and 10,000 times 10,000, all singing as they encircle God's throne. For Fred, this will be the most sublime experience. He loved to sing. He drew great comfort and peace from hearing music right to the very end of his life. And he passed on to his children and grandchildren, and who knows, perhaps to little Dre too, the first in the next generation, the great-grandchildren. Perhaps uh, Fred passed on not only his delight in music, but his ability to sing. And this service for Fred, who we at St. Andrews knew and loved so well, will contain an abundance of music for him. Son Peter will sing twice, Son Tim once, both in person. Granddaughter Hannah will sing on CD. You, the congregation, will sing two hymns perfectly for Fred. <laughs> and you've already heard him sing before the service began. And we'll hear an especially favorite piece of music on CD when we take time to reflect on the Fred we knew and loved. So Fred's service will be as beautiful as we can possibly make it. Beautiful in singing and music, in our loving remembrance and thanksgiving, in words and in our own silent prayer. May God touch and bless each one who's gathered here today to honor Fred. And may you each go from here uplifted and encouraged in your own faith and understanding. We will hold the whole service for Fred here in the church. Then there'll be an opportunity for you to pay your respects before he's driven to a private cremation. And then Fred's family invite you to join them for refreshments in the parish hall. And that will be an opportunity for you to share your memories of Fred over that cup of tea. And now, Peter, you're going to sing your first song. Tune 
kind hearts, the true hearts that love the place of home. Spring shall come, come again, calling out the mortal. Spring shall bring the sun and rain, bring the bees and flowers. Red shall the heather bloom over hill and valley. Soft blows the stream through the even flowing halls. Feather day shine as it shone on my childhood. Fair shine the day on the house with all. Hear words given to us by Jesus, words of encouragement and hope. Jesus said, I am the resurrection and the life. Even in death, all who believe in me will live. He also said, set your troubled hearts at rest. Trust in God always, trust also in me. So come to me all who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. That's because God so loved the world that he gave his only son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have eternal life. So although we are parted from Fred, none of us need ever be separated from the love of God. Let us pray. God, our comforter, you are a refuge and strength for us a helper close at hand in times of distress. Help us so to hear the words of our faith that our fear is dispelled, our loneliness eased and our hope reawakened. May your Holy Spirit lift us above our natural sorrow to the peace and light of your constant love through Jesus Christ our Lord, amen. God our creator, we thank you that you have made each of us in your own image and given us gifts and talents with which to serve you. We thank you now for Fred, for the years we shared with him, the good we saw in him. Now give us strength and courage to leave him in your care, confident in your promises of eternal life. Almighty God, you judge us with infinite mercy and justice and love everyone you have made. We rejoice in your promises of pardon, joy and peace to all who love you. In your mercy, turn the darkness of death into the dawn of new life and the sorrow of parting into the joy of heaven through our Saviour Jesus Christ who died, who rose again, and lives forevermore. Amen. And now we say the Lord's Prayer together. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive them that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory for ever and ever. Amen. And now we're going to stand and sing Fred's first hymn, O God, our help in ages past. <laughs> 